I'm gonna put it on this electrical box. 21% turkey. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Today, we're trying out four different bird identification apps to see how effective they are out in the field. All of these apps have a photo ID feature and we will be testing them on several different bird species using photos we take on our phone and then using photos we took using our cameras. This is not an experiment to determine if the apps work with clear close-up photos of birds loaded on a computer, but rather a quick test to see the effectiveness and practicality of using these apps in the field. The four we chose are Seek by iNaturalist, Picture Bird by Next Vision Limited, Smart Bird ID by Yellow Cardinal Inc., and Merlin by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. We will be using the free version of all of these apps. Our first stop is Frame Park in Waukesha, Wisconsin to test the apps on some larger, relatively tame birds to see if they're able to identify them. All right, we're gonna do the first one. It's called Seek, it's by iNaturalist. Now we'll go check out one of these mountains. Interesting because you just kind of like put your camera around and then it'll like tell you when you're on a new species You don't have to like take a photo of it. Oh, yeah cool. All right, We're gonna test this smart bird ID on the mallards 17% mallard, 16% ringneck duck, 8% buffalo head. How can it be a percentage? Come look I am not a fan of this one so far. <laughs> it says you're 7% American Bittern. <laughs> Alright, we have Picture Bird, which you have to pay for, but... Uh, How much was it? I had a free trial thing uh, and it lets you do, so you can try that. Um, Alright, let's get a Mallard and see. It's a buy. It's a buy. All right, let's try our fourth and final one, which is Merlin Bird ID, which I know a lot of people like. It's installing a pack right now of what like, what's supposed to be around. Oh, okay. With the Merlin app needing to download packs and my phone dying in the cold, we decided to warm up in the car and talk about our first experiences using these bird apps. I think the foreseeable problem with these apps is that once you get far away from a bird or it's a smaller bird, I think it's gonna have a lot more trouble identifying what it is. These mallards were really close up and I think that once the details get farther away, it's gonna be difficult. I mean, the one can even identify the mallard close up. Yeah. I don't like that percentage, the percentage thing. With the pack still not loading, but my phone charged up, we decided to try the other three apps on the other side of the river on some of the Canada geese and gulls. All right, we're back on Seek, and we cross the other side, and we're trying to get these Canada geese that are swimming away from us. Black geese. Come on. Canada goose. Got it. Then we'll try Smart Bird ID. They're getting further away. Yeah. There's one over there, too, though. Oh, there's some standing around. I don't know if you're going to reach those. It's so far away. Can you not zoom in on it, really? I don't know. I don't think I can. No? You're not going to get that in flight. <laughs> it says stay still. How am I supposed to stay still if the birds are moving? Mm. Let's get the geese over here. These are just not even close. Is this even like a real app? Right, let's go to Picture Bird. a really bad picture I took. Got Canada Goose. What else can we get? You can try and get a gull. We have some ring-billed gulls up on the roof and this is a situation where I really can't get any closer to them so it'll be a good way to test the range on these. So we're back on Seek. We'll try, try to get one of these. Man, it'd be so hard to see the AP features. Gulls, turns, and skimmers is giving me a family right now. 
So it seems like until it gets those ID features, it won't give you a definite ID. It just says gulls. So okay. I mean, that's conservative. So I appreciate that it's not jumping to conclusions. Smart bird ID. <laughs> Do you even want to? I don't know. Is it even worth it? Uh, image ID. Do you think that one has the coolest logo though? <laughs> yeah, I can't zoom in. Mm. Uh, twenty six percent Canada Day. Eleven percent. How? How does it even? I don't even know if it. We're gonna call that for Canada Day. Okay, I'm gonna put it on the grass. I'm gonna put it on this electrical box. Twenty one percent Turkey. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, picture bird. Oh, oh more are coming. Flight. I might help it out. Silver gall. So this one is jumping at conclusions. Oh man. After testing the apps on some larger birds, Seek and Picture Bird were able to correctly identify two out of the three birds to species. Since Seek was only able to give us the answer gulls for the ring-billed gulls, we can't say it was incorrect, but it still wasn't able to identify them to species from that distance. SmartBird ID was not consistent with its mallard identification and incorrect on the other species, so it went 0 for 3. We were able to load the packs for Merlin before heading to the feeders to test out the apps on some smaller birds. We're at some neighborhood bird feeders trying to get some views at some smaller birds to see if the apps can handle those well. Some seem to do pretty well with species that don't move around a lot that are a little larger, so we're gonna see how they do with these. There's a goldfinch right up there. See if you can get that. It's got perching birds. It's very blurry. So you can try taking a picture with it and see what it... It might just end up with perching birds though. We believe this is a member of the class birds. Nice. And I think it's mostly because it just can't get a clear view. Smart bird? Yeah, the terrible one. Here. You can't zoom on it. Oh, well. I don't think we have much of a choice. 43% great egress. <laughs> it probably thinks the feeder is like the neck. Perfect. Yeah, that one's just a mess. Okay, let's try a picture, picture bird. bird. And you can zoom in with this one. Kind of. Then focus it, and then take a picture. Come on! It's waiting. It's trying. Scaly-breasted lorikeet. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Really bad photo. <laughs> it's so far away. Well, that's what we're gonna get. Oh, man. Can it work its magic? What does it say? I'm back to go I got Iceland gall. What? Mew gall, barn owl, yellow bellied sapsucker. The best part is that those aren't even remotely close to the same thing. I mean, the photo's really bad though. Like, well, it's kind of understandable. Was that basically as close as you could get? Yeah, because all the others took off and that was the only one left. Hmm. I think the like moral of the story is relying on your camera to zoom or really do anything, or you're relying on your phone to zoom or do anything is a bad idea. Do you see if the morning doves are still there? Yeah, that's a little bigger. The phone is having a lot of trouble zooming in on birds that are smaller. And another thing we noticed is that it's really dying in the cold weather and it's only about 40 degrees out. So if you're in below zero or something, you're going to have a lot of trouble using these apps. All right. Yeah, go get them. Let's try seek birds. Ah. Class birds. Okay. Let's see what erroneous thing <laughs> that the smart bird. smart bird ID gives us. Oh, bluebird and also red-shouldered fox. For some reason it also thinks it's a shrike. Alright, let's disregard that one. Let's go picture bird. You can zoom in with picture bird I too, did. I think. For some reason, it's really like a bluebird. Oh, man. I wonder why both of these apps thought this was a bluebird. Maybe it's just the lighting. There's some right above you. It's gonna be pretty far away. And kind of backlit. Oof. Is it brutal? It's not good. Well, it has location, so that's good. Monk parakeet. <laughs> nice.
One of the major issues with using the apps on a phone is not being able to get close enough to the birds to get good ID photos, especially if the birds are small. None of the apps were able to correctly identify the smaller birds from the photos we were able to take. However, if you had a camera in the field, you could feasibly take a picture of the bird in question and then use the app to identify it from the photo on your camera. We decided to test this theory with some of the species we'd seen throughout the day. Alright, we're going to try looking at the same birds that we saw, but from the camera pictures. you want to start with the biggest ones? Well, let's we'll start with morning dove. Morning dove? Well, we know it can identify mallard and such. So this is Seek. Does it even find it? Morning dove. Oh, nice. So Seek got morning dove from the morning dove picture. Well, that's good. Smart bird oh, idea. Oh, man. 21% morning dove. Oh, where are so the other closer. percent? Like black Bernie and warbler. What? I know. Okay. It's having trouble focusing. Picture bird? That's actually the closest that that app's been so far to anything. Morning dove. Nice. Oh, that's pretty solid. Pretty solid, yeah. at large white-headed gulls right now. Well, uh, I can only do so much. It's just like, what if we zoom in on the head? We're zooming in on the ID Looks feature. Looks like it's worse. Yeah, it does. Birds. Birds. Okay. Do we even want to try? No. I'm curious. What if it gets this one? It could be the... Oh. Oh. That's a species of call. Mm. It doesn't even tell you what species it is, so if you don't know what that is, that's pointing to. Clown picture bird. Ring bill gone! Wow, oh picture bird. <laughs> Mew gull. Oh. Rainbow gull. Wait, was the first one Mew gull? As an option, yeah. Oh, interesting. So this one gives you an option, like multiple options of what it could be. Which is kind of nice, because then you can just compare. Give what it the goldfinch. Take that one. a pretty decent photo. That's ah, got, it. got it right away. Nice. All in all, Seek, Picture Bird, and Merlin Bird ID seem to be able to successfully identify birds from the photos we took with our cameras. Smart Bird ID wasn't able to reliably identify any bird we saw. In the end, the success of most of the apps is dependent on the quality of photos provided. The technology still has a ways to go, however they are fun and interesting to test out and try. When in doubt, take lots of photos and consult experts on species you are unsure about. Have you tried any of these apps? If so, what were your experiences? Leave a comment and make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Do you press it then? Animals. <laughs> you're an so animal. If you just, now it says you're two percent. Uh, wait, you're sixty-eight percent Eastern Joey. <laughs> <laughs>